everyone, it's Ella with Feeding Type 1, and in this video, I am ha here with you. This is my best friend, Tori. Hello. Tori follows me on my Dexcom share. So, a Dexcom continuous glucose monitor, specifically the G6, is a small little um, site that you wear on your arm. It's very easy to insert, and you have this piece which is called a transmitter. What this does is it takes your interstitial glucose and it sends it wirelessly to your phone. If you wear an insulin pump such as the Tandem X2 insulin pump, like so, that's fine, it will also show up on your pump screen. The pump can also take data from your CGM and make adjustments as needed, such as pictured here, it was recently correcting a low. So part of what makes this system so unique and amazing is, lean in. Part of what makes this system so unique and the benefits of it are, no matter if I'm in California or Canada or Costa Rica, or Dominican Republic, or England, or Paris. It doesn't matter where I am or where your follower is. You are able to share Dexcom. Mm -hmm. So not only can I see the data on my phone, it is also visible on my phone. And would you like to share a bit on how that helps? How, yeah. So what happens when I'm asleep and you can't get a hold of me and my blood sugar is low? Well, what happens is, is that Ella and I have a rule and kind of like a routine. And she says call at least five, six, almost ten times. If, if she does not answer in those ten times... That I dispatch, and what dispatch means is that I call 911 immediately. Tell them the situation, and they will come up here and take care of her needs. I have a unique situation, um, but most diabetics just have to drink juice or eat carbs by mouth when their blood sugar is low. However, in my situation, we have to push IV dextrose, which we just did, and because we have to have the dextrose go straight in my system. So when the ambulance comes, they just come in, they administer my dextrose, and then they leave. And the reason that is is because I have a lot of medical conditions, and when I sleep, I sleep very hard. And when I crash, I bottom out and crash because my body does not have a stored glycogen storage due to the fact that I don't eat by mouth mainly. <laughs> So, today we're going to share with you just how easy it is to set up the system. So, I won't, well, I'll just let you know kind of what the thing is. So, all I'm going to do is I'm going to type in her name. And then I'm going to input her email. Twice. Eight. Yeah. Uh, Gmail? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. So it has you um, input the data, the email twice so that it can confirm that there's like no accidents. The G6 now also offers you to the option to be able to pull the email from contacts. Now, I can control what she will be able to see, but once it goes to her phone, she will be able to. So you're gonna actually launch your email app. So our typical settings are, because I do want a chance to respond first, I will usually set it for 85. If I'm under 85, for more than 15 minutes, then she will, her phone will beep. But the reason I don't have it like that on all the time is because of, we don't need her phone going off every single time that diabetes decides to go on a roller coaster. 
So, another thing is, but the death notification is always enabled. So, at this point, these settings are, these are really weird, it actually won't let me change it. So, it's sending invitation, loading, and queued up. And then it will be viewed as invited. Now you will simply go ahead and launch your Apple Mail app, this one, and then your swipe down. Is your Gmail plugged into that? Yep, there it is. Hit cancel. Hit that. And I'm going to show, is that okay? Mm -hmm. I'm going to cover the. So all she has to do is launch her app. And go ahead and just push, I call this the little cheese box, because it looks like a little thing. It will launch the website at first. After that, this is her new phone, by the way. It will say, open this page and follow. You will hit open. And then my stuff pops up. From there, she just hits accept. Do you accept the ability to save my life? Yes. Awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Now, the high is not going to be on 200, though. <laughs> no. No. I keep her have on my emergency settings. Like, if I'm going into ketoacidosis, then... Um, for over two hours. Mm -hmm. let, let's, let's just make that two and a half. Or we can, let's just do three. Like, literally. And then loss of data of one hour. Is that okay? Mm hmm all right, then that's that. And now, wherever I am, wherever she is, she can see me all the time. Now you'll notice that I have the um, limits very far apart. I do that because we don't live together. We spend a lot of time together, but we're not always together. But those are, that's basically my safety net. Um, if I were to become in not a okay state. <laughs> I think we've lost count now. But this is my parameters, which are set at 100 and 200. So that is um, the deal. And if you like this video and want to see more of it, this is my friend Tori. So let's give it up for Tori. Woo! Yay! Diabetes cancel. Way to go, Tori. Way to go. Way to go, Tori. Way to go. Ah, uh, good job. Good, good, yeah. good. Hot. Screw you, Davey.